I do believe that Kevin Durant plays elsewhere next year. You do? Yeah. You don't? Yeah. I say he stays. Really? Well, why not go? If they win again, they're going to go for four in a row. When's the last time that happened? That's Celtics, I believe, right? Back in the 60s? But I don't think that he still is going to get the respect that he wants for doing something like that. Even if he's the finals MVP again, I I don't know. It feels like, hey, I've, I've sort of done what I wanted to do. Uh, you, now you can't say you didn't win a title or you weren't the MVP of the final. Like, I've done that. I've accomplished that. And if he wins this time around, it just feels like, okay, now I'm going to do something that is going to raise my profile, my resume, where I'm going to be on equal footing with LeBron James when it's all said and done. I'm going to take the Knicks, and I'm going to I'm going to win a championship there. I'm going to get Kyrie to come down from Boston. <laughs> You're going to do what? I'm going to get the, Kyrie. The Knicks championship, you said? Yes, with, with Kevin oh, Durant okay. and Kyrie Irving. And Zion. And Zion. Okay. All right. This, that's, yeah, um, maybe. I'm just throwing that out maybe. there. Maybe. I think Kevin. Yeah, well, I think he's sensitive, too sensitive. I th- I think being labeled the guy who ruined the NBA, I I think it affects him, and I think that he wants that next challenge to be able to do something that will really mark his legacy. I felt that from the beginning yeah. of the year that I didn't think he was going back to Golden State. Okay, so go to New York. That they'll they'll be easy on him there. Well, they'll they'll be easier it, it, from the standpoint of they're desperate, they're welcoming him in. The rest of you know basketball, the fans are have a problem with Kevin Durant with Golden State. Nobody's going to have a problem with him right. there, and they'd probably root for Kevin Durant if he went to the Knicks. Yeah, I mean, the media would be nice and sensitive to him. I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, if they have Irving and Zion, they're going to want a championship next year. Okay. Okay. Well, good luck. If I give you, if I put Durant and Kyrie and and Zion Williamson on the Knicks right now, next season, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Why are you salty today? What what's what happened here? I'm not. I'm not salty. It feels I'm like you're salty. Why, why does Kevin? Why would Kevin Durant leave a situation like Golden State? I don't. I mean, like the guy is killing it off the floor. He's owning Silicon Valley. He's Got a four hundred million dollar Nike deal. What? What? Uh, his legacy is what? I mean, the guy is unbelievable. Like he, I have no problem with him going to Golden State. Do you think but, he, he could win five titles in Golden State, and he's not going to be considered better than Kobe or LeBron? Uh, you know, some of these other guys, yeah. right? Probably not. No, yeah, you, no. But, I mean, is he going to lose any sleep over that? I don't know. It feels like he loses sleep over little things, though, John. He, he's yeah. a sensitive guy. Yeah, he is. Just well, like I mean, you. If that's going to make him – you know, the bottom line is he's going to do what makes him happy. And if that's if that's moving on to a uh, inferior team and trying to bring them to prominence, then so be it. Yeah. Or if he wants to stay, whatever. You know, whatever. Oh, I don't have a problem if he stays. I just think if he's not going to help LeBron, so he's not going to go to the Lakers. And I just thought if he does leave, he's not going to go back to his hometown in Washington, D.C. The Knicks. I don't think. If if the Knicks, whoever wins the lottery, I'm curious what that will do for possible free agency of, you know, wanting to play with Zion or that opportunity to have somebody young who can come in and all of a sudden, you know, there's great interest there and you're relevant if you're a bad team. Yeah, no, I mean, the NBA is all about reality TV now, right? I mean, it's yeah. the summertime is what we're all worried about. We can't, we can't wait to see what, <laughs> who's going where and what's going to happen. I mean, it's like the, it's the Kardashians all over again. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.